What's up guys, it's Dream here. I'm here to show you guys how to use the mod block printer to print things into your Minecraft like this, which is just a Lamborghini. I'll probably put out more stuff in the future if there's any updates. So for now, I'll keep this pretty simple. Once you download the mod, you wanna go ahead and click the enter key, which will pull up the block printer menu, which has on the left printer files and on the right in-game structures. These will be blank for you if you haven't put anything in yet. Now, the file types that are supported are listed here which is .laz, .xyz, .pts, .ply, .dxf, .obj, .glb, .gltf. These are all the most common scan outputs and also 3D model outputs. We might add more in the future, but for now, that's it. Obviously, before you start using it, you need to actually have a scan. Now, these are my recommended scanning apps if you want to scan stuff in yourself. There are a lot out there. Some are probably better than these, but they cost money. As far as I know, these work and are free. And then all you have to do is open up the app, create a scan, and then export as one of the supported types. My recommended 3D model website is Sketchfab. There's a lot of really cool stuff on there that's free that you can download. But like I said, there's also a lot of other websites. The examples I'm gonna be using today were scanned in using these apps or were from Sketchfab. But yeah, once you're on this menu, you can go ahead and click the open folder button. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So you'll click open folder, which will open the inputs folder in your block printer mod. And this is where you wanna drag your object files. So I have a bunch here. Some of them are different file types like .obj or you know, .glb. I'll go ahead and use this night scan example. All you do, grab your file, go ahead and drag it in. And then you'll see in a second here, it converts it automatically and then it pops up in your printer files. You can click quick place to just place it right on top of you, or you can actually edit the settings and choose where it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, quick place here. So here we go. Now it placed, I'm gonna go ahead and fly out, take a peek at it. So yeah, that's simple. We got the night here and here we go. I mean, all I did was just obviously drag it in and then go ahead and scan over here on the right side, which is in-game structures. I can edit it if I want. There's a little edit settings button here. I can go ahead and click edit. And this has all of these you know, things. So let's say I wanna change, I wanna make it so there, it uses bricks and planks. Then I'll do that. And then it edited it. Let me make a bigger change. I'll change, I'm gonna increase the size because it's size 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bigger. Let's make it 200. There we go. So now the size is bigger. And yeah, so it's pretty simple. Again, if you want to click on edit settings here, that's where you can actually change things. I'm going to go ahead and talk about what these settings do. So over here in the block section, there's block palettes and there's kind of different options. Like if you want to include gravity blocks, that would be like gravel and stuff that will fall, but it doesn't actually fall in the mod. And a lot of these are just personal preference. I mean, you know, these are wool blocks, terracotta blocks, but there's also, you know, whether or not a block is ugly, which is kind of, you know, personal preference. But for me, you know, I, I you know, I, got rid of certain things like dirt and like yeah whatever that is that's ugly but yeah so i mean kind of my personal preference but obviously you can kind of mix and match you know sometimes if you spawn it in your your thing might be sideways and if that's the case then you know you can go in here and swap y and z um, and then of course there's more advanced options like with brightness here um, if i want to actually increase the brightness i can do that and uh you know it will overall increase the brightness of the build on top of that also there's an advanced shading option here which actually if your scan includes shading details, then you can use this to adjust where the, you know, how much shading there is and, you know, where the light actually comes from, which I don't think uh, this this uh, scan has that information, so it can't do anything. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example of a build that will come in uh, incorrectly. If I go ahead and drag in Iron Man, which is another just 3D object, and it will convert. And then if I go ahead and place it, the recommended size is actually dynamic. So this is taking longer because it recommends a bigger size to see more detail. For bigger builds, it'll take longer. Yeah, and then now this is in. And of course there's Iron Man, but as you can see, he's sideways, which obviously you don't want. Um, you prefer him to be <laughs> standing upright. So if that's the case with your build, you can literally just go into edit and then go ahead and swap Y and Z and place. Boom, there you go. And then now, as you can see, the orientation is actually correct correctly upright instead of sideways. Some of it got cut off because uh, the Y limit in Minecraft, you know, vanilla Minecraft, and obviously it says that in chat. Um, if you use a mod that extends the height limit, it will work. Um, so you're able to place above the height limit, but obviously I'm not using that, so. Otherwise, if you wanna choose where it's actually placed, you can click over here and you can change the location that it's actually placed, which it autofills as your coordinates. But if you wanna be specific with exactly where it 
it, the center of it is placed this is where you can edit to do that the only other settings there are is light up area which this just puts light blocks uh, on the edges of every block that way there's no mob spawning and uh, you can see it clearly this fill in holes checkbox again is automatically on i coded a simple little algorithm that just recognizes whether or not something is probably a hole like if you're you know you have a, a big stretch of a wall and then you know there's there's just like holes in it and it's meant to be your room's wall then obviously there shouldn't be blocks missing um, i try and fill those in yeah if you hover your mouse over one of the files it'll tell you more information so like here i'm hovering over the iron man one it tells me that the file type is glb that it's a 3d model that the recommended scale is 640 um, and that the number of points is 343,000. this is important because uh, if you had missing files like it says external files none here but if you had missing files like you know you you did something incorrect it would display here and tell you how to fix it otherwise the only other options there really are right now is in here there is advanced options this one's use my resource pack which essentially means that for deciding what colors the blocks are it will use your custom resource pack if you turn this on so if you want to let's say use a resource pack that has solid colored blocks then you can you know or different colored blocks then you can use this to do that and then allow unsafe size limits increases the size limit from a thousand to five thousand so like if I was to create you know, a new one here, you can see that maximum can go up to a thousand. Whereas if I go ahead and turn that option on, then you know, now I will be able to make it go up to 5,000. It's not really recommended. That's why it's in advanced options. In the future, I'd love to optimize it to have it work with uh, bigger models and you know, meant for like huge maps, like huge cities and stuff like I showed in my video. But right now, even though that does work, it's not actually intended for that. There's too much like in memory and, and uh, just some complicated stuff. So in the future, I'd love to update it and make it so you can put bigger models and have bigger scales easier. Um, and maybe it'll just take time because um, sometimes it does take a while if you use a big model. But otherwise, for now, that's how you use the mod. And yeah, the whole goal is to keep it simple. So obviously the biggest thing is you just drag it in. Obviously there's been ways to do similar stuff in the past. You know, like obviously when we put our house into Minecraft, uh, you know, originally we didn't have anything like this. And I realized kind of how complicated it was and also how costed money most of the time. So I decided that I would make one myself to put it out there because I think it's pretty cool and I love to be able to do cool stuff like this. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know and uh, comment down below and maybe I'll update the mod in the future. And also thanks to Callahan for helping code this. It was just me and him that worked on this together. The download link is in the description. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I'll try and respond. And like I said, if you have any ideas, let me know. Hope you guys enjoy.